These are the top One UI 7 beta features on Galaxy S24. Starting off, we're getting a brand new quick settings panel. By default, this not shows up when swiping down from the left. Just like iOS, when you swipe down from the left side, it shows your notifications. And when you swipe down from the right side, it shows your panel. I don't like this change, but still you can change it to combine these two with a single swipe. Simply tap here on this pencil icon, choose panel settings, tap on notifications and quick settings view, and now choose together. In this way, whenever you swipe down, it shows both your notifications and quick settings panel. This panel is also redesigned by the way, giving it a fresh new look. Your main Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles are here with other ones that you can check out by swiping down on this point. You can always move these panels up and down like this. Next up we have these brand new icons with One UI 7. I think they are looking a lot good. This gives Samsung phones a brand identity. This is a new camera icon and here is the expert raw camera icon. Right now there is no dark mode added for these icons just like iOS. But all beta testers, please leave your feedback in members app so Samsung can hear us out. Notification panel also got a redesign. Now by default, your notifications will pop up here on the top left side, even on the lock screen. In settings, if you go to notifications, then lock screen notifications, you can change between dots, icons and cars. Cars is the one I'll be picking up here. That way, notifications will be highlighted under your always on display mode rather than being on the top left side. Talking about lock screen, we are getting a new dynamic island like pop-up that Samsung is calling now bar and it sits right here. It shows all your ongoing activities like if you have any music playing or any timer, you can see it right here. And you can also switch between those styles or now bars. This now bar also shows up on always on display mode and you can also interact with this now bar on always on display mode too. I think more features will be added to this now bar in future. Next up, we are getting a new vertical layout for apps menu. So now without using any third party launcher, you can see your apps in a vertical format. All apps here are in alphabetical order, making it easy to find the right one. While the old one is still there under custom order setting. By the way, this is a new battery icon we are getting with One UI 7 and the Wi-Fi icon also shows number 5 that is the Wi-Fi router or Wi-Fi 5 that I'm using right now. Before it only showed Wi-Fi 6 icon. Now Wi-Fi 5 icon is also there. Right now only Galaxy S24 Ultra supports Wi-Fi 7. So I think it will also show Wi-Fi 7 icon but I don't have that router at the moment. When you plug in your device while staying on home screen this is your new charging animation. This isn't the best in my opinion. I'll try to leave a feedback for this in Samsung members app. When we are on lock screen or on always on display mode, the charging animation is a lot better. The recent apps also got a new design with these cars. They look fresh and more modern than before. Camera app is also redesigned with One UI 7. Now it looks a lot clean and minimal. You can see there is nothing here on the top left side. While the bottom section shows most of your controls. And if I tap here, all your camera settings will pop up. One new setting that Samsung has added here is this exposure setting. I can change this exposure. And if I go to settings, now settings to keep, here you will see an option that says exposure. And if you turn on this option, camera app will remember your exposure setting for every shot. So these were some of the main new features with One UI 7. I'll keep you guys updated whenever there is a new build out for download. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss any update. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.